The Amazon Echo Dot was Amazon's best seller this holiday season. For good reason, I might add. The price was around $30, so it made a perfect gift for just about anyone. If you were lucky enough to get your hands on one of these, one way or another, but aren't too sure how you feel about it, or go about talking to this creature, Alexa, this video is for you. Warning, please press the mute button if you have an Alexa device nearby. I'm going to be using the A word a lot through this video. So many of my other videos are much more advanced as far as Alexa capabilities and other smart home related gadgets. So if you are a more advanced user, this video may not be for you. But if you are a beginner or want to learn some cool commands that you may not know, stay tuned. Alexa is the artificial intelligence that is programmed into hundreds of different devices. The Echo Dot, Echo, Echo Show, Echo Fire, Echo Spot, and so on are Amazon's devices which hold the most capabilities to take advantage of other features. Many other smart speakers have Alexa built into them, but do not offer all of those options. So if you do purchase another one or are in the market, I recommend going with an Echo device. We'll start by setting up this dot, which is similar to the larger Echo. It just doesn't have the large built-in speaker. If you want to use it for music, you could add your own speaker to the 3.5 millimeter jack in the back or via Bluetooth. A solid recommendation is the Vox battery powered speaker, which also powers the dot itself. Check out that video here. You are going to need the Alexa app on your smartphone or tablet. If you don't have one of those, then you could go to alexa.amazon.com and use it on your computer. While well, we've got the app installing, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start unboxing this. So the packaging here is pretty simple. We just have a little pull tab. Amazon's packaging is always so easy. It's very simple. Got the power cord and the wall wart. Okay, maybe it's not so easy. There we go. And the dot itself. We have a small startup guide here. Chuck that to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in this end so we are ready to go. Okay, so now that it is installed, we will go ahead and open the app. I'm going to sign in. If you haven't signed in, uh, if you don't have an account already, you'll go ahead and going to go ahead and need to create an account. So once you go ahead and create an account, it, sh it might look something similar to this. If it doesn't prompt you to automatically set up a device, go into the hamburger icon and settings, and then scroll down to set up a device. We will click on our device, which is an Echo Dot, select our language, continue, and then it says begin Echo Dot setup. Let's get your Echo Dot set up to Wi-Fi so you can start using it. I will click connect to Wi-Fi. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. Take off this protective plastic. There we go. So it will do it will go through the boot up process which can take up to a minute it says. Once it is ready to set up, the light will the light ring will turn orange and she will start talking to us. So there's the orange light. You might be able to hear the ominous glow coming Hello. from it. Your Amazon Echo Dot is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. Okay, so I will hit continue. So it's prompting us to manually connect to the dot. So we will go into our Wi-Fi settings on my tablet, your phone if you have it, and find the Amazon one. Connect. You've connected to Echo Dot. Go ahead and finish the setup in your Alexa app. Switch it back over to my Alexa app and it prompts us that it is connected. I'll hit continue. 
and I will choose my Wi-Fi network name. Setup complete. Your Echo is now connected to your Wi-Fi network. So it may also prompt you to enter your password, but I'm assuming it already has the information from my Alexa or my other Amazon account of my Wi-Fi network saved. So it will probably ask you for your Wi-Fi network's password. So I'm going to click no speaker. And there we go, it's set up. Okay, so now that we're set up, we're gonna go ahead and rename the device name. I'm gonna go to settings, and this may be your only one on here, but for mine it's called Andrew's Fourth Echo Dot. We'll go into it, and go down to device name and change the name. I'm gonna call it Basement, because I don't have one in the basement, and I will probably end up putting it there. So let's go back home and see what we can do. So there are literally thousands of different things you are able to control or ask Alexa. So in order to keep this video to a reasonable length, I'll cover the most common and valuable in my opinion. If you're still watching this, I'm going to assume you are a beginner and I'm also going to assume you don't have any other smart home gadgets. So I'm not gonna cover most of that. But there are still some very awesome things you can do. So let's get started with my top 25 commands. Alexa, volume 10. Alexa, what time is it? It's 1.33 a.m. That was loud. Alexa, volume four. Much better. Alexa, set a pizza timer for 30 seconds. Pizza timer, 30 seconds, starting now. Alexa, set an alarm for 7 a.m. Alarm set for 7 a.m. Alexa, volume five. Alexa, add Taylor Tech channel trailer to my to-do list. I've added Taylor Tech channel trailer to your to-do list. Alexa, add eggs to my shopping list. I've put eggs on your shopping list. Alexa, what's on my shopping list? You have one item on your shopping list. Eggs. Alexa, play a Game of Thrones on Audible. Getting your book from Audible. Resuming a Game of Thrones. There's 23 minutes left in the chapter and 26 hours 11 minutes left in the book. Alexa, add batteries to my cart. Sure, batteries is now in your cart. Alexa, buy trash bags. Amazon's choice for trash bags is Glad Odor Shield Tall Kitchen Bags, Fresh Clean Scent, 13 gallon size, 110 count. It's $14.07 total including tax. Would you like to buy it? No. All right. I can now send more search results to Andrew's phone as an app. Stop. Alexa, how far away is the moon? The moon's distance is 239,000 miles, 384,000 kilometers. Alexa, how many ounces in a cup? One cup equals eight fluid ounces. Alexa, how do you spell beautiful? B-E-A-Utiful. Beautiful is spelled B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L. Alexa, what's the square root of 459? The square root of 459 is 21.424285285586. Alexa, what's the weather like? Currently, in Portage it's 4 degrees with clear skies. Today, you can expect some sun and snow flurries, with a high of 11 degrees and a low of minus 2 degrees. Alexa, what's tomorrow's forecast? Tomorrow in Portage, there will be some sun and snow flurries, with a high of 11 and a low of minus 2. Alexa, how's traffic? The fastest route takes about 13 minutes via Samuelson Road and US 20. Alexa, roll a dice. I rolled a die and got one. Alexa, what movies are playing right now? Here are a few movies playing near Portage today. Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Star Wars, The Last Jedi. Insidious, The Last Key. Pitch Perfect 3. 
the greatest showman, and Ferdinand. Would you like to hear more movies? No. Okay. Alexa, play Frank Sinatra. Shuffling songs by Frank Sinatra. Stop. Alexa, remind me to take the garbage out every Thursday at 6 p.m. Okay, I'll remind you every Thursday at 6 p.m. Alexa, call 219-649. That's 219-649. Right? Yes. From whose number? Andrew or Amanda? Andrew. Calling. Alexa, show the people what you can do. You always know just what to say. In Portage, it's four degrees with clear skies. Today, you can look for some sun and snow flurries, with a high of 11 degrees and a low of minus two degrees. The fastest route takes about 13 minutes via Samuelson Road and US 20. From your Ask Alexa app, all of the doors and windows are closed. The average of the monitor temperature devices is 67 degrees. Your forecast for Saturday is some clouds in the morning will give way to mainly sunny skies for the afternoon. High around 15 F. Winds W at 5 to 10 miles per hour at 1.38 a.m. That's all from your flash briefing. Hasta la vista, baby. If you happen to add more of these Echo devices around your home, you start to unlock other abilities, like drop-in, which is similar to an intercom system throughout your house, and another op option like multi-room music. Play today's hits everywhere. The station today's hits from Amazon Music, playing on the Everywhere group. Check out the YouTube cards up here to learn more about those. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope I helped shed some light on some of the possibilities of the Amazon Alexa devices and you learned something new. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like down below and consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. And remember, stay smart.